right. How can insurance get boosted by technology? Obina Osuji is the CEO of MediSmarts Limited, joins us now to discuss further. Uh, Obina, a good morning to you. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Uh, and you were a part of that, uh, that uh, forum. You were also on another panel where you discussed uh, uh, you know, insurance, health insurance in particular. That's where you play. Why is health insurance penetration still so low in Nigeria? Yes, so um, it's essentially a combination of different things. Um, first of all, there's that expectation uh, from the government to make health insurance uh, accessible to all. And in fact, it's enshrined in the uh, National Health Insurance Act. But what we've seen is that uh, the implementation has not been, you know, uh, close to even 10%. Uh, not to talk of a hundred percent. So that has put the pressure on the private sector to drive health insurance. And uh, because the private sector is really led by corporate organizations buying health insurance for their staff, uh, there are only so many companies uh, in Nigeria and, you know, uh, most of them, you know, are compliant with this, but compared with the overall population of the country, we see why we have uh, less than 5% uh, penetration as far as health insurance is concerned across the over 200 million uh, population that we have in the country. So, so can, can tech, I mean, this was discussed at this, you know, the forum yesterday, but can technology in any way scale health insurance uh, across the country? Yes, it can. And, and in fact, we are, we are already taking steps uh, in that direction to talk to and work with uh, some of the partners uh, where we've seen success, especially uh, in banking and telecoms. Now, in banking, uh, we've had great success with, uh, you know, the BVN registration. We're able to identify individuals. Uh, and so that collaboration currently exists, but it can be better today where banks are able to sell insurance products on their platforms. And uh, with technology uh, built by Medismarts, it's easy for APIs to be consumed at, at the banks. They don't need to know all of the details around how uh, the technology works. All they need to know is that this service is available, insurance as a service, if you may, and they plug into it and sell to their customers. Then the other leg is with the telcos. It's possible for, um, you know, right now, it's possible for uh, telcos to partner with us to have uh, that direct integration to all the HMOs on our platform and offer the service to people uh, and maybe charge them, you know, with uh, their airtime credits. You know, they can pay 100 naira per week, something really small that they don't get to fill. But at the end of the day, uh, it adds up to cover the cost of the premium. Now we are looking at entry level cost, uh, you know, pricing here uh, around five to seven thousand naira because Nigeria is still very, very price sensitive, uh, given all the things that are going on on the macroeconomic level. So entry level uh, insurance premiums like that can go a long way to uh, spread the nets of uh, the number of people insured. Uh, in the country and we are you know uh, positioned and the technology is available to help uh, the industry scale in ways that uh, we've never seen before all right speaking of of scale we've there's a lot of talk about 5g and we're trying to have conversations to enlighten our viewers with respect to the practical applications of 5g technology besides all the uh, pump penetration and all the hype can you tell us are, are you excited about 5g i know lots of part of the population there's still some on 3g still some on 4 is are we to be excited for 5g does it apply to your sector where you play uh, what, what's your take can it be applied oh yes it can and in fact, I'm, I'm very excited because um, one of the major challenges we've had, uh, yes, if you take out the urban centers, if you take out uh, the big cities, when you talk about uh, internet penetration, uh, you know, in remote areas of the country, you'll be lucky to even get 3G, right? But if, we are, if the goal is to make all of these services available nationwide, then the 5G rollout should see uh, improved internet speeds across board. I'm hoping that the rollout is a lot faster than we are seeing now. 
that will usher in a whole new realm of possibilities uh, in the healthcare system. Uh, we talk about telemedicine, that's video conferencing uh, with a doctor. This can be enabled seamlessly with, you know, with fast uh, internet connections. So you don't even need to come into the hospital uh, physically to do certain things. At least let's look at primary care as an example. So the 5G uh, rollout and the possibilities that it brings is, is very exciting to us uh, tech enthusiasts in the industry. Okay, great stuff. Uh, what's your take on, on regulation? I think you mentioned government in the beginning when I was asking you about the low penetration. Does government, in your view, understand the tech value chain and how it can productively, productively impact uh, the economy? Yes, yeah, so, I mean, uh, the government is, I would say they are doing all that is in their power right now, given the this, uh, constraints they have in terms of funding, uh, we do know that uh, it's it, to, to provide health insurance across board for everyone in the country uh, is going to cost, you know, billions and if not trillions of Naira. And so with the new uh, National Health Insurance Act, uh, states are now being empowered to, you know, run their own schemes while the government takes the, the role centrally as a regulator. Uh, we're excited to see this unfold in the coming months. Um, that's, uh, and then for technology, I think they can also do a lot better in terms of collaboration. There is so much that is available today in terms of innovation that the government is not aware of and they are not taking advantage of it. So if it means getting all the stakeholders uh, involved, to find out what's possible, how do we standardize uh, care across board and things like that, then we'll start to see also a rapid growth in the, in the healthcare space. Um, what, what about the skills in the value chain for healthcare? Do we have enough skills here? What does the pipeline look like in terms of creating more skills for the future? Well, yeah, that's a tough one. Um, we, this year, I think we've seen unprecedented levels of exits in terms of uh, the JAPA movement. Um, a lot of technology professionals have left the country in search of, of greener pastures, um, or they are even working here in Nigeria for foreign companies, and they are not willing to touch uh, Nigerian companies with a hundred, uh, a hundred yard you know, stick. Uh, so what we are seeing is that the, the available skill set is shrinking by the day. The avail available number of skilled uh, technology prof professionals is reducing by the day, and this is not good for the economy at all, uh, as, especially the technology sector. We've been hit uh, in this September rush where a number of people have left to uh, either go do their masters abroad, and of course we know what that means. They want to settle down after that, we've had technology professionals who are now senior developers leave the company. And uh, the, the only thing we can do about it really is to continue to build that pipeline and make sure that we have a training program where uh, aspiring developers can be quickly trained to pick up uh, the slack left by the senior developers. And, and in healthcare as well, we've had uh, healthcare professionals living in droves, doctors, nurses, uh, you know, and someone mentioned and said, well, shouldn't healthcare be more, uh, be technology driven and remote? But you find that the countries these people are going to uh, are already advanced countries. These are developed countries and yet they need more doctors. So that tells you that for a developing country like Nigeria, we are not even anywhere close to that. So we need our healthcare professionals. And the only way the bleeding can stop is if the government is able to quickly address the macroeconomic issues uh, and then you know make sure that uh, you know the economy is revived in such a way that people have a reason to stay. Great stuff, uh, Obi Nao Suji, CEO uh, MediSmarts Limited. Thank you so much for joining us to talk about technology and how it can improve the healthcare system. Appreciate your insights.